writing test cases for a mobile banking application and documenting them on Jira tool. I will explain you some of the important features of the app that would help you create the test cases step by step. As you see, I have created a prototype template of a mobile banking application that displays the page that has some very important features. And as a tester, you must need to know how to test these features step by step and note down the test cases in Jira tool using Zephyr scale that I have installed in order to manage my test cases. I will discuss some test scenarios for this banking application and then the top up feature of the banking app and how it works with other features. Top up. This feature allows users to add money to their account from an external source such as a credit or debit card or bank account. Then there are other features like pay, transfer, withdraw and more. These features make banking convenient and fast for you. You can do everything from your phone wherever you are. Are. but before you use them you need to make sure that the app is tested well and secure that's why I will also show you some important test cases for the top of feature and the app in general stay tuned and watch the full video as you see for example this mobile app it includes information about the person to whom this card belongs to like for example that's me in the profile picture frame so in order to test first we need to download the app and add a profile picture then we will verify whether the app downloads properly and displays the user's name and profile picture accurately after signing up this is a basic test case for the app once we have verified these basic functionalities, we can move on to testing the main functionality features of the app section, right? These are some important functional test cases that I have documented in Jira for the mobile banking application. Please watch the complete video to get some idea of how to create test cases and understand the overall scenarios of the application in general. To begin testing with mobile banking app, First, we need to test how the app works on different devices and screens. Make sure it is easy to install and set up. Test if the user can log in and log out with the right password. Check if the user can reset their password or log their account if needed. Test if the user can see and change their account details. Check if the user can add or remove accounts. This means the user can link or unlink other accounts to their main account. For example, the user can add their spouse's accounts or their savings account to their app. The user should be able to check their balance after each transaction. This means the user can see how much money they have in their account after they do something with their money. For example, the user can see their balance after they pay a bill or transfer money to someone. The user should be able to get and save their account statement. This means the user can download and keep record of their account activity. For example, the user can get a PDF file or their monthly statement and save it on their phone or computer. Check if the user can do different kinds of transaction like sending money, paying bills, stopping up their phone, cancelling or undoing a transaction. This means you can stop or reverse a transaction if you made a mistake or changed your mind. Verify encryption and authentication. This means the app changes your data into a secret code and asks for your password or fingerprint to unlock it. Check network problems, device loss or theft. This means the app works well even if the internet is slow or not working. It also means the app can lock or erase your data if you lose your phone or someone steals it. Rules and standards for banking. This means the app follows the laws and best practices practices for banking. For example, the app needs to check who you are and where your money comes from. It also needs to keep your data safe from hackers and spies. Check the speed and ease of use. This means the app opens fast and does what you want it to do. Check the interface. This means the app looks nice and easy to understand. Accessibility and localization. This means the app can be used by different people and in different languages. These are some of the basic test cases for mobile banking applications. 
I have to explain the important points in short. Here I am talking about a generic example of a mobile banking application that is under test, right? But when as a tester you are responsible for testing app like this, you need to go through the requirement document of that particular banking application. You need to understand the user experience point of view while testing the application which is under test. I have logged into my Jira account. Now I am going to create a new project inside Jira tool where I will write down all the test cases for this banking application to show you some examples. Next I will choose the scrum template for my project. From the project type I will select a team managed project. Now I will name my project as project for banking application as an example. You see the key is created for the project name, the short form I mean that is PFBA. Now click on next. As you see the project is created, next I will click on the apps from above in order to open Zephyr skill that is a test management tool that I have already installed in order to create my test cases. Next, I'll enable the app and start creating my folders accordingly in order to keep and manage my test cases. I will create my folders like for example, main page, settings, about page, card, cache like that and so on. Inside this main folder, for example, I will create the subfolders like top up feature, pay, transfer, withdraw, etc. and so on. This is because creating folders and keeping subfolders are helpful arranging the test cases and creates less confusion in designing and managing too many test cases. Now coming down to the apps's main features like top up, pay, transfer, withdraw and more. Let's begin with the test scenario for the top up feature of the app. A test scenario is a high level description of a test case that covers the main functionality or requirement of the feature. Create a set of test scenarios that cover all possible use cases for the top up feature. In other words, prepare test data that covers all possible scenarios. For example, you can test the top up feature with different credit card types, amounts and currencies. A test Test case is a detailed specification of a test scenario that includes the input, output and expected result of the test. A test case could be verify that the user can top up their account with a valid credit card. A test case should include the following information like preconditions, test steps, expected results, actual results, test execution. Execute the test cases using the prepared test data. Record the results of each test case and report any defects found. Let me quickly show you how to write down the test cases for this top up feature as an example for the mobile banking application. I am documenting in Jira tool in the main pages folder that I created for the top up feature. Right? Click here to add a new test case that is to verify that the user can top up their account with a valid credit card credentials like entering the card number, expiry date, CVV and the amount and then save the test case and then you can go to the test cases from here. Let's create the next test case that is to verify that the user cannot top up their account with an invalid or expired credit card. Next verify that the user can cancel a top up transaction before it is processed and get a confirmation message. Next verify that the user can see the updated balance in their account after a successful top-up transaction. Next, verify that the user can view the transaction history and details of the top-up transactions in their account statement. 
The expected result, for example, is that the user should see the transaction history and details of the top of transactions that match the date range or filter criteria. Next, when the user taps on the add money option in the app, they enter the card details and the amount and tap on the confirm button and then checks their email or phone for the notification. The notification should have the transaction ID, date, time, amount and status for each add money transaction. So the next test case should be Verify that the user can receive an email or SMS notification for each top-up transaction with the transaction ID, date, time, amount and status. Suppose the user wants to top up their account using a different currency. They go to the top up option in the app and fill in their card details and the amount they want to add. Then they tap on the confirm button to complete the transaction. Next, they go to the account balance option in the app to see how much money they have. The expected result is that the user should see their updated balance in their own currency along with the top up amount and the exchange rate that was used right so the test case we must write it as verify that the user can top up their account with a different currency than their account currency and that the conversion rate is applied correctly imagine the user has signed into the banking app and has a valid credit card with a certain range of top up limits as a tester you need to do the following steps first go to the top up option in the app second Enter the card details and an amount that is either lower than the minimum limit or higher than the maximum limit. Third, tap on the confirm button. The expected result is that the user should get an error message saying that the amount is not valid for the top up transaction and the transaction should not go through. So for this scenario, you may create test cases like verify that the user can top up their account with a minimum amount or minimum range that is set by the bank or the app and next test case verify that the user can top up their account with a maximum amount or maximum range that is set by the bank or the app right so these are a few very important functional test cases for the top up feature of a banking application you see here are all the nine test cases that i have documented on jira tool using zephyr scale Next, I will discuss about the test cases for the pay feature of the app. In order to keep my video short, I will continue discussing the other features of the app into my next video for this same banking application and create more test cases for the other features. Like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching.